Okay, man, so Brock Purdy's injury is kind of like at a risk factor, man. So he's he's recovering pretty well, but the season could be in jeopardy, man. So if I'm the 49ers, I would do whatever I can to keep Brock Purdy more healthier. Whether it's him being on the sidelines for part of the rest of the season, that's understandable. But I want Brock Purdy at a full healthy man I, I mean you got to give credit where it's due to Brock Purdy man he came in the situation to where we were on to our third string quarterback we had everything around us an injury at quarterback was the most difficult situation that most teams will have to go through it's kind of like crazy how you go from the starting quarterback to the backup now you're going on to the third string quarterback and then going all the way to the conference championship and then having this unfortunate injury. You know, it's a tough situation, especially being the last pick in the draft. I mean, most of our fan base, you have certain groups of anti-Trey Lance haters. And then you got some of these guys uh, on the Brock Purdy train. And then there's some of the Niner fan base that are just really crazy about Sam Darnold man like realistically man Brock Purdy just uh that's gonna take some time for that injury man that elbow surgery the UCL surgery that takes some time to fully regain the throwing motion man so that's gonna take some time I don't think he's gonna play early in the regular season man this is pretty much Trey Lance's opportunity this is Trey Lance's opportunity to Regain his job. Was it an unfortunate situation for him too? Yeah. An injury, his ankle, he was out for the season. I mean, it's just pretty much like any other circumstances you can go through a lot of injuries. But the fact we have him and Sam Darnold, it gives you some valuable confidence in this team. Because they got the talent. People have been questioning the quarterback position. They've been saying if we had a quarterback, we would win multiple Super Bowls. But it just hasn't happened because we had quarterbacks who are barely average or or at least decent. Not your typical quarterbacks who can be like your Patrick Mahomes or Josh Allen type quarterbacks of the world. I mean, we don't get those kind of quarterbacks, man. We mostly run the ball. Our quarterbacks are not asked to throw the ball as much. But... Under the circumstances, man, it is very hard to come back from surgery, to regain. I mean, I don't even think Brock Purdy had the arm strength. I just think that it's going to, it's not the same, man. The, it's going to take time for him to throw the ball. And it's going it, to, it, we don't even know if the guy's going to be the same, you know. I'm not like some other fans that are just saying, oh, we don't have to worry about, no, 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 no. I appreciate what Brock Purdy has done with this team. No other quarterback could deal with a situation like this more than Brock Purdy. The fact that he took us to the NFC Championship game and won us two playoff games. You got to give credit for this kid. The guy has moxie. The guy has heart. But this injury, bro, I wouldn't want to risk it at this point. I want him back at a full healthy percentage, man. I don't want him to have a setback. I don't want this guy to have to be injured again with the same issue, bro. Because sometimes if you put him back in the into the seat, back into the field, bro, it's possible it can be a major setback. So you gotta look at it this way. We invested Trey Lance. This is his opportunity to prove his worth. Sam Darnold, this can be one of those greatest comeback stories where he was doubted and two teams gave up on him. And this is his resurrection career. This could be where he can, like, uh, have a high market value for next year. But I don't really want to see a story like that. But I think that's an interesting story to have. Like, if you're just a football fan in general, Sam Darnold was given up by two football teams. If you look at the last six games he started, four and two as a starter, the accuracy was improving. Decision making wasn't too bad. But you want to look at a story like a Trey Lance, man. A, a person that everybody's given up too soon. 
But then you want to root for a kid like Brock Purdy to come back. That's an ultimate underdog story. But as far as all that, bro, we had to hope for the best for Brock Purdy's recovery because we don't we don't want it to be a major setback to where he may not play the same again. Because that may take a little longer than six months. That might even take maybe almost the entire season. It's kind of in jeopardy because he's gonna throw the ball. And it's gonna it's gonna it's just you know, it's tough. But for for these for these quarterbacks, you know, this is probably gonna give me some indication. So if we do draft a quarterback in the late rounds, okay, in the late rounds doesn't mean it's guaranteed they're gonna make the team or anything like that. But it does give us some indication that we might have to look into the quarterback position in case Brock Purdy can't play the entire season. So when you think about it, would you rather have Brock Purdy at a full health with no major setback? Or would you rather rush Brock Purdy back onto the field early in the season or something? And then he has a major setback and he's never going to play the same. I know you guys probably would rather prefer to have him with where he doesn't have no major setbacks and looks better than he's ever been. But Trey Lance has an opportunity to prove something. Sam Darnold can be one of those stories, but we'll see. I'm just telling you, man, it's it's in his best interest to not have a major setback. You know, you have to look at it as going forward. He He's shown good signs that he could be a really good quarterback. I mean, he is just doing the job at a high level, and you can't hate on what Brock Purdy's done, bro. Brock Purdy has earned a lot of respect throughout the faithful, and he has every right to be a starter, but if he's not at a full 100% health or not even at the full strength of what he's playing at, bro, I don't want this guy to have a major setback. So let, let, let's clear this shit out, all right? I like Brock Purdy. 7-1 and one as a starter, winning two playoff games. If not for the injury against the Philadelphia Eagles. It would be a different story. But no. That story already that story ended. Now he has to make a recovery. Now let's see what he can do. But we don't want a major setback from this kid is all I'm asking for. So think about when you look at the the title. Think about it. You got to look at it long term. I want him at at a full percent where he doesn't have a major setback. I want to see what Trey Lance can do. I want to see what Trey can do because we gave up so many draft capital for this kid. I mean, if Sam Darnold is what he is, a underdog story that proves the odds and has a great career with us, and then somehow he ups his market value to go elsewhere or comes around as a good insurance policy, then cool. But, dude, come on. I just want to see what Trey can do first, you know? But as always, I'll keep y'all posted and go Niners.